Thank you for joining me for our continuing journey down the Nihonbashi shopping street using the Kidai Shoran picture scroll from 1805. In part two, we had just visited the Echigoya, today's Mitsukoshi department store. Continuing along the street, a kamado, or earthen kitchen stove, is delivered. We saw them being sold in, hard, in Hardware Street uh, near the Nihonbashi Bridge. This abacus store was established in 1800. The storefront includes a magnificent advertising hoarding, which is a large-scale uh, soroban. Unfortunately, electronic calculators replaced these simple, elegant objects. But Japanese in their 50s or so today will remember having to use the soroban in school. A celebratory gift is carried by two porters. The gift is covered by a large cloth emblazoned with the family crest of the gift giver. Uh, the crest is the so-called 5-7 Polonia crest which happens to be the crest of the office of the Prime Minister today. A toy seller holds a toy tree climbing monkey. Originally, these were made in the castle town of Nobeoka to pray for the health of children. A pilgrim bound for Kompira Shrine, which is near Takamatsu, carries a Tengu mask on his back. Only Kompira pilgrims uh, carried these Tengu masks. Uh, in fact, they were um, sometimes employed as a type of advertising for the pilgrimage. Utagawa Hiroshige depicts one of these professional pilgrims employed to promote the benefits of pilgrimage to Kompira-san. Moving along the street, Uh, this group of happy friends has perhaps enjoyed a meal out uh, with the man's cheeks rosy from enjoying too much sake. Famous restaurants in Edo were Yaozen and Hirase. Shippoku cuisine from Nagasaki, a, a mixture of Western, Chinese and Japanese food, was also fashionable. Yaozen was located in Asakusa, the restaurant served generations of Tokugawa shoguns and even Commodore Matthew Perry. After 300 years, the 10th generation owner of the business is still uh, operating. Uh, he lives and works in Kamakura, providing uh, consulting services about Edo food. Hirase was located in Fukagawa, across uh, the Sumida River. This was an unlicensed uh, pleasure quarter. Uh, the restaurant was famous for its bathing facilities and beautiful garden. A sendyu, or comedic haiku, went, uh, the tide goes out when you realise you have tasted your final morsel at the Hirase. The poem compares the Hirase restaurant to the great warrior Taira no Kiyomori. The luxurious dishes of the Hirase would be topped off with a sea brim salty soup. The final dish is compared to the luxurious life led by Kiyomori, which was cut off as his family was defeated in a sea battle off Dannoura and uh, they sank to the bottom of the sea. This black water pail stands outside Osakaya, a leather-sold shoe and repair store. Astringent persimmon and charcoal uh, are used to create the black coating on the pail, which is protective of the wood, but it's also expensive, so it's indicative of the prosperity of the store. Osakaya uh, next door sells account books, uh, Kagiya next door sells face powder and helmets. Two young women seem interested in the face powder. And on the very right side is Fukushimaya selling uh, medicine. In the middle of the street is an artisan applying lacquer. 
Perhaps he came out from a back lane store to apply lacquer in the sunlight. We see a wandering barber about to enter a side lane. He carries a red lacquered box with his hairdressing implements. You see this box uh, in this photo on the left. Uh, barbers in Japan still provide close face shaves, but do not shave the head uh, for top knots. <laughs> uh, Ono Barber in Nihonbashi advertises uh, the different types of fashionable top knots, which were popular at different, different times through the Edo period. This salesman is peddling arsenic as rat bait. You can see a picture of a rat uh, at the top of his banner. The arsenic came from Iwami Ginzan silver mine in Shimane Prefecture, the largest silver mine in the world in the 16th century. This store is selling Kiseru tobacco pipes. The pipes had a bamboo or timber center section which needed to be cleaned and occasionally replaced. Sushi is served uh, from a yatai, uh, an outdoor food cart. Edo sushi was the, the fast food of the city for the many bachelors who lived in the city. We continue into the second block of the Honcho area. Uh, we see the performing monkey handler introduced earlier uh, with the two dogs annoying the monkey. A torimi, or bird catcher, with his long pole uh, could enter the estates of feudal lords on the pretext of catching birds to feed the shogun's falcons. Uh, this was, in fact, a way of spying on the daimyo. Two news criers, or yomiuri, sell the news by crying it out. The most popular selling newspaper in Japan and in fact, widest distribution newspaper in the world is the Yomiuri Shimbun. A water vendor sells fresh water on the street. It was called Ippuku Isen, or a, a cup for a copper coin. He might also offer watermelon and loquat leaf tea in the summer and medicinal uh, tea in the, in the winter. A rice polisher makes his way to his next appointment, rolling his large wooden mortar in front of him and carrying his wooden pestle. The mortar is called an usu and is usually made from Japan's precious hardwood, keaki or uh, zelkova. And the pestle is called kine and is made from a, a softer wood. Today, we usually see these at festivals where rice cakes are pounded, particularly in the late autumn with the new uh, rice. This is the larger scale equipment used, using a stone mortar to polish rice in the Edo period. An ox cart carries bales of rice. Ox cart did the heavy lifting of the city, carrying rice bales, uh, building materials, and heavy packages, with, you see with the ox in the background there. We see another group of shishimai performers cleansing evil away and being paid by the shop owners, uh, still popular in the shopping streets of Tokyo. This is the cosmetic store from Kyoto called Tamaya. They sell the famous kumoi makeup contained in the beautiful porcelain containers standing on the red lacquered, lacquered table. This confection stand is called Kiriya after the Polonia tree and uses the same Polonia crest as today's Prime Minister's office. The stand owner prepares some paper to wrap sweets and a young boy begs his mother for some sweets as she carries his younger sibling on her back. The store owner is obviously proud of his business and again one day perhaps dreams of uh, owning a permanent store on the street. A tavern uh, in the background uh, has a gentleman sipping on a cup of sake uh, and another group of parishioners in the foreground follow their priest. Here we see an opportunity store. This store is possibly su supplementing the income of a private guardhouse. Private guardhouses were responsible 
responsible for fire prevention. And as a reward, they were allowed to cook and sell hot yams, as we can see in the right-hand woodblock print, alongside other income supplementing sales activities. This tradition is continued today by Ishiyaki, more stone-baked yam sellers. In 1900, there are almost 2,000 stores selling baked yams in the newly named city of Tokyo. However, after the great Kanto earthquake of 1923, these were all closed. Uh, also, after the earthquake, fashionable sweets such as biscuits, castella cake, chocolate and pastisseries uh, became popular. It was only in the 1960s that there was a wave of nostalgia led by Minowa Manzo from Mukoshima uh, baking yams on the back of his truck. Uh, the nostalgia was also promoted by the animated series um, Sazaya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving past the central part of the scroll, uh, we come across seasonal shops selling Hina dolls. The area is known as Jikendana. The Hina dolls are for the girls' uh, festival. And uh, they're still sold in specialty stores in season uh, and celebrated in private homes on the 3rd of March each year. A street hawker sells mochibana. Now, uh, mochibana is a decoration made of small uh, cut rice cake placed on a branch of willow tree for a small New Year's festival, which is around the 15th of January. And this is when wives return to their own parents' family home. This florist uh, carries a lightweight bamboo street stall for selling uh, fresh cut flowers and perhaps mochibana as well in season. Asahiya sells or chazuke. Um, now, rice was cooked once a day in homes in the capital uh, or in Edo and eaten fresh for one meal. And for the other two meals, the rice would be freshened up by pouring hot tea over the rice and adding some condiments. And ochazuke is still much loved. We see a su sufferer of beriberi in his wheelchair. Beriberi was the disease of Edo. Uh, the city was so wealthy that its seasons, citizens had the luxury of eating three meals of delicious polished rice every day. Unfortunately, this led to vitamin B, thiamine deficiencies causing painful beriberi. The problem was solved by introducing soba or buckwheat noodles into the diet. Full of vitamin B, these noodles are still enjoyed for lunch by Japanese. The Muromachi Street back near Nihonbashi uh, teemed with soba restaurants. Today, uh, Rikyuan serves delicious soba noodles in the Muromachi Street. Behind the doll stores in the soba noodle is the soba noodle restaurant Mikawaya. Mikawaya started as a street stand selling nihachi noodles, meaning two eight noodles, because they sold for uh, two times eight or 16 uh, mon or 16 copper coins, about uh, 480 Japanese yen today or about $5. An impressive, beautifully lacquered samurai palanquin passes with four bearers and a vanguard of luggage bearers. Two sight-impaired masseurs make their way down the street with canes, alerting customers with whistles that their services were available. Uh, even today, many masseurs in Japan are vision-impaired. Moving along, uh, we come to the entrance of Hongoku Cho.
The gentleman on the left with the long staff hiding under his hat and cloak is a loan shark. He's perhaps a priest who collected money for a temple building project, but then lent the money out at high interest rates. And uh, a samurai points an accusing finger at him. Maruya is a paper wholesaler selling karakami, a sturdy type of paper introduced from China. The sign says that it is ji karakami, or local Edo-produced karakami. Two gentlemen are entranced by the beauty of the young woman serving their tea from a yatai chaya, or street tea house. Um, even outside, it was a chance to take off one's sandals and relax. In front of an umbrella store stand two Komuso monks playing their shakuhachi, begging for alms. Komuso were mendicant monks of the Fuke school of Soto Zen Buddhism, who flourished during the Edo period. The sedge hood uh, represents the absence of ego, uh, but they were also convenient as disguise if a warrior was running away from his responsibilities. They play the shakuhachi today for alms, as a meditative practice and for healing prayer sessions. The music could also depict our relationship with nature. The sect was abolished at the end of the Edo period, but they and their music are being revived today. Hongkyoku are the songs of the Fuke sect. The shakuhachi is also used in secular Japanese chamber music called sankyoku. Ishigaki Seizan is a young performer of shakuhachi. Uh, let, let's enjoy his music for a moment. Wonderful. So just as we've uh, become very calm, two shogunate messengers rush uh, important mail to its destination. They were called hikyaku, or flying feet. They also delivered private mail for the citizens of Edo uh, and were the basis for the formation of Japan's modern postal system. Their base near Nihonbashi became the first modern post office in Japan. A man rides on top of luggage on a pack horse. This was a cheaper way to ride, but far less comfortable. Next to him is a Hormeitan medicine peddler. Hormeitan is still sold as a Chinese herbal infusion. We see three tobi, or checkpoint guards, outside their guardhouse. They worked as firemen and on construction sites, such as the scaffolding men we saw at Kia. Their metal staves uh, jingle while they are on patrol, reminding people to be careful of uh, fire. And they have matching uh, momohiki uh, trousers. Otaya is a tobacco wholesaler. You can see the beautiful dried tobacco leaves being taste tested. We see a fishmonger with cutting boards covering his fish. And a young man delivering sake in a lacquered celebratory barrel. A mirror polisher uses a vinegar made from the seed of pomegranate. Japanese mirrors were made from white bronze coated with gold on the reflective surface requiring uh, regular polishing. The backside design was natural motifs such as butterflies. 
These mirrors with large rectangular handles were popular among commoners during the Edo period. They fell out of fashion when European glass mirrors were introduced at the end of the Edo period. Approaching the end of our scroll, on uh, the next street corner is uh, the restaurant Tamazushi. Uh, the restaurant later moved to the Ginza in the Meiji era. It specialized in delivery of food rather than serving food in the restaurant itself. It had an auspicious trademark. Um, you can see on the banner there, the Hōju, or uh, Sacred Gem. Um, born from flames, uh, topping Buddhist sutras, uh, representative of the crystal clear clarity of Buddha's consciousness. In front of uh, Tamazushi are two samurai returning home from swordsmanship practice at the dojo. The Shikakukan dojo was established nearby in Kayabachor in 1773, so perhaps they were disciples of that dojo. A party of samurai with decorated horse returned from a visit to the castle. On formal occasions, the daimyo or feudal lord, uh, or perhaps a very senior retainer, uh, rode a decorated horse and was always accompanied by a servant carrying a water ladle for the horse, a spearman, luggage bearers, and a sandal, sandal bearer. Weather vanes and rain barrels were placed on the roofs. If there was a fire, people would climb up to ascertain the fire location and then the wind direction to know if they were in danger and would wet down their roofs for protection from embers if the wind was blowing in their direction. This man is delivering sushi as are these uh, motorbikes and uh, uh, bicycles. And this is a delivery of soba noodles. Unfortunately, they've all been replaced by Uber Eats in the capital today. This is a rental book peddler. And this practice continues today at rental bookstores, particularly for popular comic books. It's a really nice way to ensure efficient use of resources. A seal shop uh, sells seals or, or chops for identification purposes. Uh, these seal carvers did a brisk business and still do. Uh, one's hand carved registered seal is still the main way of legally identifying oneself in Japan. Nearby is a dentist. Uh, the name is uh, of the dentist is Mr. Matsui and he sold dentures. Edo period dentures uh, were made from wood and soapstone, and the first great uh, Edo shogun, Tokugawa Ieyasu, had a set of them. A Kindle seller hawks the matches of the day. The cypress and pine kindling had a small amount of flammable material on the end. Uh, a Kiseru pipe seller is to his right, who was also likely a traveling pipe mender. Moving along into the Hon Shiroganecho area. This was an area uh, of silversmiths and other various craftsmen, including sword polishers. Um, a large embankment stood here after the 1657 fire, the Meireki fire, for the prevention of spread of fire. A knife repairer works on the street. We see ox carts delivering building supplies. A carpenter works in the sashimonoya or uh, joinery shop. Nearby Fujiya sells uh, sake with um, savory zoni soup or perhaps sweet shiruko, a red bean soup with mochi. The roof of Fujiya is covered in oyster shells. 
Uh, this provided extra fire protection from embers flying from fires in the city. A priest leads a young acolyte along the street in front of a Buddhist altar store. The store is called Yorozuya. Uh, and nearby in Asakusa, today the Yamamoto Buddhist altar store still operates. On a street corner, a fortune teller attracts the attention of some, some young women, and uh, these fortune tellers can still be seen of an evening on Tokyo street corners. A cleaner sweeps in front of a store in exchange for a few copper coins. Uh, Yamadaya Heizayemon ran a raincoat store. Polonia oil was used to waterproof the cloaks. Uh, you can see the two men preparing the oil and about to coat the material. The waterproof coats were more like uh, capes. Nearby is a setta naoshi or setta sandals repairer. Setta sandals were expensive and needed to be repaired, not thrown away, uh, unlike the straw sandals. They were worn by the warrior class and wealthy merchants. Setta is still used today by men wearing kimono. They are very expensive, costing from between $300 to $1,000. Towards the end of the scroll, we see the crockery area around the Imagawa Bridge. Most crockery used in Edo came from Seto near Nagoya, and so crockery is still referred to as Seto Mono or Seto Goods in the capital. Here, flower pots are indicative of the popularity of bonsai and horticulture in Edo. And nearby, Kapabashi is full of ceramic stores with utilitarian ceramics for everyday use. Now we come to our final image, the Imagawa bridge area, at what is the beginning of the scroll. <laughs> to remind you, uh, we have walked 764 metres from Nihonbashi Bridge to the Imagawa Bridge. This is the view back to the Nihonbashi from where the Imagawa Bridge was located. And a view of the Imagawa River, which today flows underneath uh, this tarmac. More seto mono crockery stores line the river and a small tea house stands at the northern foot of the bridge. Pilgrims depart on their journey up the Nakasendo Highway and a traveller gathers his strength, having spent 19 days walking from Kyoto before entering the city proper. Just up the street today is the wonderful Takemura Tea House, founded in 1930 and still serving the types of Edo period sweets we saw along our walk. And this includes the Shiroko, sweet uh, red bean soup served at Fujiya. Uh, but my favourite are the deep fried red bean mochi rice balls served with a salty cherry blossom tea. And this is a very good way to finish our walk. Thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed our walk, please consider subscribing to this channel and keep in touch on my Facebook channel, John McBride's Great Walks of Japan. Thank you.